In the first instance, Alex, you, you've got to differentiate between uh, the influence of the current market and what that allows us to do and not to do. Uh, and the fact that the project, a project of this nature, is a five to seven year project. And so, in terms of the underlying value of the project, one is looking at the commodity prices as they may be in 2013 to 2016 as to what they are now. Where the market is difficult right now is it inhibits one's ability to raise capital. Project finance is all but dried up. And as one stock market actually, uh, stock price actually declines, it makes the raising of equity that much more expensive. Mm. And so. So can we, you go for debt? Is debt available? I, I don't think it's. Uh, debt is not easily available right now. But it's not an option. In a case like ours, um, our original strategy was to uh, negotiate our project finance, then go out and raise the equity side of the, uh, of the capital cost, then come back, spend that and to draw down the debt as close to possible as cash generation in order to mitigate the roll-up of interest. Now, our plans don't change. Uh, the, the only thing that does change is the fact that uh, we've got to be a lot more careful in the raising capital right now. It's a lot more expensive. So instead of going out and raising, for example, uh, the, the 2.8 billion that we were intending to raise in capital if we had geared the project 50%, we have to now start looking at much smaller tranches. We are in the fortunate position that we have 350 million rand in the bank. And so um, the general approach is to, is to, to wait, wait for the dust to settle in the market and see which way it's going. That 350, how long will it take? How long will it last you? It depends on the burn rate. Mm. And again, these are the decisions that one makes on a day to day What's your basis. minimum burn rate? The minimum burden rate is basically, I suppose, the, int, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the salaries and of the, which of is the what? staff, which is... Uh, probably, it's difficult to say in the second terms because we've been going from a, an exploration into a... But uh, it's in the millions of rands as opposed to the tens, in, uh, per, you know, uh, per month, as opposed to the tens of millions or hundreds of millions of rands. So, you know, the, the worst case situation or best case is to say, right, we want to preserve our value. Uh, let's defer the project, mm. sit on our 350 million rand and see which way the market is going. I guess the interest, in, what I'm getting that, at is will the interest pay for the running yes, costs? Yes, we can mm. do that. And so and that is a sort of fallback situation. But I'm not that way inclined as you will know. If, um, f, you know but maybe shareholders are. Shareholders are saying to you, we only value the stock at one rand five now. And maybe shareholders are saying, let's just treat it as an option. Wait for the dust to settle. If things improve on the platinum price, then we'd like you to go ahead. Because at these levels, there's no question. Uh, look, that you we've can't. got effectively we've got six strategic options to follow over here, of which that deferral is one of those options. But that decision has not been made. And I think that if we can, you know, the, the implications of deferring a, a project of this nature are fairly significant. You know, you push the MPV out, uh, there's the Prices. CapEx, and mm -hmm. you've got this increase in CapEx. And so first prize is to be able to commence with the project and keep it going. Uh, but uh, and to try and keep it on track. Mike, we saw what happened with Uranium One in Clarksdorf. They spent four billion rand, and they've had to close the whole thing down. Is the and because they've taken the view that they can't invest the additional capex, they aren't going to be able to guarantee a higher uranium price in the short term. Is this an option at these levels? If the platinum price stayed in the mid 700s, could you produce platinum? Profitably from uh, I think that the question is more is that can the rest of the industry uh, produce per cap platinum at that level? And again, you've got to look at the longer term nature. At these levels, and if you look at uh, analysts like Steve Forrest and Associates, SFA at Oxford, uh, if their numbers are to be believed, which, and, and I think they're fairly accurate, is that you know, a good portion of, this, of, of the industry right now is underwater? And so you're going to see a supply-side response. That either new projects won't come on stream or existing older projects and the deeper projects will will. will but you're happy that yours, yours is being managed in such a way that should the dust settle, should the platinum price rise, you can go ahead. I'm being very, very cautious about the approach, and I will make the, the, the right decision for the shareholders. But we are taking a very measured approach going forward.